Let's make some cake pops today out of cake we made the other day. You'll need melted butter, butter, and you'll need powdered sugar, vanilla, and you'll need heavy whipping cream. Two tablespoons. Make sure you whip it first with a fork or a uh, beater, either one. Before you add your powdered sugar and your vanilla. Okay, let's add our vanilla. We're going to start out with one cup. We could use up to three cups, but let's see what it does. I think one cup will do this because we only got a little bit of cake pops anyway. Okay, let me go get the melted butter. I told you we had to add melted butter now. No, I think it's all right. Okay, let me add a little bit more. About one-fourth cup. I think that would be perfect for us. Okay, now let me get the marshmallows. One fourth of a cup. One fourth cup is two ounces. Oh, I think that's going to be perfect for our cake pops.
If you hear noise in the background, we're watching Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. Oh, that's going to be perfect right there. Okay, let me get my cake out to crumble it up, and I'll be right back with you. Now you can do this with a whole cake, but you gotta wait two or three days to to make it to make it or it'll stick together good. I always just use used cake. This is a strawberry that we made the other day. Here's the Christmas tree part that we made the other day. Good way not to have leftovers. Make them into something else. Okay, let's put a little bit of icing in our cake pops. Now, you have to let these sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour before you eat them, after you make them. Okay. Let me get some something else, and I'll be right back with you. They're holding together, so you just roll, roll them like this now. Try to make them all the same size. Okay, I'll be back with you when I get them all rolled. We got them all rolled. They ain't all the same size, but they about the right size, I guess. But if you want to make them, make sure they make them all at the same size for a party or whatever. Okay, we got them made. We got our schoolers made, too. Now, you're going to put this in the refrigerator for one hour. You want them to set up pretty good. Or you can put them in the freezer for 30 minutes. My husband made these out of chopsticks. 